Hi, it's Charles at Empress Mills, and today we are taking a look at the Mystic Vine collection. This is just a small selection of the shades that are available. I think we've got about 20 there, but there are 37 shades overall in this um, super collection. It's arranged at the value for quite a while. We consider Mystic Vine to be an Empress Essentials range. Um, we keep all of the range in stock all year round. We have lots of stock available of it, um, and we keep all of the shades that are available from the supplier right up until the supplier making a change to the actual colours, we will keep that full range available for you. So you can always rely on us um, from that point of view with this range. Um, it has been um, here at Empress for a few years. It is one of the firm favourites in the blender collection. It's been designed with quilting in mind, although we'll come on to that um, very soon and the different uses for it because it is such a lovely, lovely range. It does have quite a few um, different uses. The key facts about it, it is 100% cotton, 110 centimetres wide, 44 inches, so a classic quilting width. It is um, Oecotex certified, or, 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 or um, Ecotex, as some people pronounce it, I never know which one. Um, I was laughing about this before, someone will be telling me off for getting it wrong, but um, I always say Oecotex, so there we go, certified. But, and that just gives you a little bit of confidence. It basically means that the fabric is certified to be free from harmful substances and chemicals. So you can be confident when using this for clothing, for quilting, when projects are gonna be against the skin, particularly projects for children, for example. It just gives you that extra layer of confidence when choosing this fabric. In terms of the weight, it is a quilting weight. It's a pure cotton, a lovely mid-weight, perfect for quilting, as you can see, and it will blend with all of the popular brands. It is a John Loudon fabric, but it will blend with Lewis and Irene, for example, with Macaws. It's that sort of weight. So it won't feel different if you're using it on a quilt or a different project, blending it with those classic fabrics. This will fit right in and just feel perfect alongside those. Um, in terms of it being a quilting weight and the needles to use, you can use a sharps needle for hand sewing and betweens needle, for example. And for stitching, a quilting needle if you're going through multiple layers or it is absolutely fine with a universal needle on the machine. That will be perfect for stitching this weight. It's just a classic pure cotton, really, from that point of, um, from that point of view. Um, I've mentioned already briefly about the, well, spoken at length, really, about the quilting, but as I did say earlier, it is wonderful for other projects. We see it used in dressmaking, for example, but also particularly soft furnishings, cushions, cushion backs, anything like that this fabric is absolutely ideal for it. Wears well, um, you know, it's, it's, it's a nice quality from that point of view. It wears well, it will stand up to use, it will stand up to washing, for example, absolutely fine. So again, just gives you a little bit of a, little bit of a spread of uses that you can use this, um, this range for. The design itself is what makes it a real classic blender. And just to really pick up on that, you've got this wonderful shading in the background, it's got almost a mottled effect in the background there, as you can uh, as you can hopefully see. And then the uh, sort of trellised vine effect, it is called Mystic Vine after all, um, sits on top of that wonderful background and also changes with the shades too. So you'll see we've got these darker elements, these lighter elements, and also even within the floral, the vine element itself, you do also get different tones. So you can see that on this particular element, just here, hopefully we'll be able to pick this up in nice detail for you. You've got lighter elements to the vine through to some darker elements, and then that tones nicer with the background. So you're getting a real spread of shades, and it's a real tonal spread. So you can match across a range of shades with just the one fabric. Again, it's what just makes it a real super blender. Um, and in terms of colours, there's strong colours like this beauty that I've picked um, just here. And then let me just show you some of the lighter options. Down at this end, Nat's done a very good job at spreading them out nicely for me today. We've got this beautiful silvery style colour, where again, that shading, you've got these lovely pale elements here, but just, you've still got the definition around the vine. And again, it's just giving you those options in colours. Um, and the background, I, I must, you know, really want to be reinforced. It is that mottled effect. So you do get a spread of colours, not just because you've got darker and a lighter element, but even within those shades, they're tonal within themselves as well. So it does give you a real, real spread. You can see why it's been such a popular range. Um, 
I think I've touched on all of the key details there. The main ones being 100% cotton, certified, perfect for quilting, dressmaking, soft furnishings, a real spread of uses, and obviously this wonderful design too. If I haven't covered everything, if you've got a question on this range, or of course anything that we stock here in Empress, please don't hesitate. You can leave a comment under the video, send a message through the website, or you can of course call us and we will be more than happy to assist you with any queries at all. One last thing, if you do like our videos, please like and subscribe to the channel. You can do that underneath the video and also on our main page. It pleases me and Nat who make the videos, he's been smiling behind the camera now, but also it will make sure that you receive updates when we post new videos. We're going to be doing lots more on the Empress Essentials, also delving into some technical details on interfacings very soon. And of course, the classics looking at different designs from Lewis and Irie and other design houses along the way. So do keep an eye out for all of that. Thank you very much indeed for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Bye bye.